The ulnar nerve is the nerve that most of us refer to as our funny bone. Uh, when you hit your elbow and those last two fingers on your hand go numb and tingly and hurt like crazy for a few minutes, um, that is because the ulnar nerve has been squeezed. Um, in people who do that acutely, uh, that's usually a temporary thing, but sometimes that nerve slowly gets irritated over a long period of time associated with uh, tight uh, ligaments or fascia. Fascia is something that covers over the muscles. Um, sometimes it's due to a, a habit like resting your arm on something hard right over that ulnar nerve which causes it to swell. Um, but in people who have an ulnar nerve irritation, those last two fingers, your last, your pinky finger and your ring finger go numb and they tingle. Um, just like um, somebody who has carpal tunnel, a lot of times, because we tend to sleep with our elbow bent, they'll get numbness and tingling that'll wake them up and they'll have to try to straighten that elbow out to get relief. Uh, in people who have had conservative treatment for ulnar neuropathy or ulnar nerve irritation, um, those people um, who have failed to get better um, with steroids, with anti-inflammatory medicine, with physical therapy, with changes of position while sleeping and while doing other activities, uh, those are people who would be a, a good candidate to consider an ulnar nerve decompression. An ulnar nerve decompression involves um, getting the pressure off of that ulnar nerve as it travels through the path that it travels in the elbow. Uh, it is restricted um, by a bony uh, prominence called the uh, um, medial epicondyle. The medial epicondyle is the bone that you can feel right at the inside of your elbow and right behind it is where the ulnar nerve runs. Um, a lot of people know where that is because when they hit their funny bone, it's right up against that bone. Um, and so uh, rather than transposing that nerve by moving a muscle or something like that, uh, what I do is I take the pressure off of the nerve through a small incision um, uh, take, uh, and make sure that it's path coming into and out of the muscles that go near the elbow is free of any pressure. And then I take a, um, a tool, much like a Dremel tool, um, and I whittle down that bony prominence that traps that nerve in that channel that it runs in so that it can freely move out of that channel when you bend your elbow. Um, as such, it's no longer being entrapped from the pressures that we already released and it's not being trapped behind that bone. Once that's done, I'll clean things up and close that up. Most people do very well with this. Numbness and tingling tends to get better very quickly. Um, some people wait a long time before they have this addressed and in that case, that nerve may need to heal. Luckily, nerves can heal and they heal at a rate of about an inch a month. Um, and so since there's a little bit more than a foot from my elbow to the tips of my fingers, it may take me uh, a year or more for the tips of my fingers to get that sensation back. Because nerves sometimes don't completely heal, uh, a lot of times the irritating, painful numbness that, um, that wakes you up at night is gone, but that last bit of sensation in the tips of the fingers may never come back. Um, uh, after surgery, I ask people to uh, use a sling for about three days. That sling is really there just to help uh, protect that suture line and let it begin to heal and close. Um, once uh, that's done, um, we have people avoid lifting uh, or using that arm in a way which will put too much stress on the attachment points uh, where um, the muscles surrounding that uh, decompression are and the suture line itself. Um, uh, 20 pounds is about a weight limitation that I recommend to people uh, as far as um, not lifting more than that, but 
truthfully, even less than that is, uh, is warranted in the case of a ulnar nerve decompression uh, because um, uh, that arm, uh, our, with our arms, we're so used to you know, bringing them up to our face or scratching our head or combing our hair, and that puts a lot of stress when we bend that elbow on that suture line area. And so keeping that arm kind of down by the side um, um, for uh, at least a week or so is a good idea just to prevent that suture line from uh, getting opened up.